Right, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ring my mum, guys, because I'm a bit conscious that she's gonna. She, I'm doing. Uh, she's getting. I'm getting a food delivery because I'm isolating. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to interrupt the filming. You know what I mean? Hang on. Is she gonna be on time or? No, they're always late. They're prob- Are they always late? Hey, hey, mum. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, <laughs> warning you that we're doing some filming for the YouTube channel. Yeah, so I won't come to the door, not being rude, but if you just um, leave the stuff <laughs> on the doorstep and I'll, yeah, I'll put the oven on so I can heat it up. Yeah, I, I, I'm all, I'll, be, I'll be all right. Yeah, I had some dinner. I'll, I'm not, I'll be fine. Yeah, thanks. All right then. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye. Oh, I love that. Oh, my mum's about- here as well. <laughs> is she? Yeah. <laughs> she, where is she? Where's your mum? Mum, where are you? <laughs> oh, 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 she's in the attic. She's not asking. She? <laughs> <laughs> but he keeps her in the attic, locked up. <laughs> Just lets him out two hours a day to clean the house. <laughs> I'm feeling left out. Oh. I'm feeling left out. I need a mum moment. Mm-hmm. I, am, I am the mum. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah. Look like, we look like his sons, actually, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Get the old wrinkles going. Wrong hair colour. Right, shall you probably are actually. Oh. Hang on, I would have had you. I would have had you at sixteen. So yeah, you could be my sons if. How? Well, you can't tell. Can you tell me how old you are? Oh, eh? No, I could not have had you. I don't oh, have a physical age. impossibility. <laughs> how old am I? I'm 51. 51? 51. Oh, yeah. 51. It's impossible, you're right. Um, it would. Well, maybe not, but... It oh, anyway. Right, I've got another flipping. My ex is wanting to give me food now as well. That's no joke. Oh. Are you <laughs> enough to drive up for this dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And this is all before we even start recording as well. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, dear me. I made yeah. cake today. I made almond cake. Mm. Haven't made cake for ages. I tell you what, I love cake. I, re- I remembered I love cake. You've you got a cherry in the middle. <laughs> 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 right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. My arms are aching. Right, okay, we're ready. Okay, hello, good evening, everybody. Hey. Hello. Welcome back to Single Parents United YouTube channel. So it's Tuesday, and that can only mean one thing. It is the first episode today of Tosh's Takeaway Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Have you got a takeaway? Have you got a takeaway tonight? Well, I've actually... Because I'm isolating, I've got two food parcels on the way uh, oh. from my mum and uh, one from my ex-wife. Weirdly, but <laughs> so love I that. I hope they don't both arrive at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you can send one round to Steve. See if you got takeaway tonight. I've ordered a McDonald's, but he's not turned up yet. So yeah, <laughs> your, your mum's there, so maybe she can kind of like. She's in the attic, anything. my mum. She's, she's in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> so takeaway Tosh's takeaway Tuesdays right so these are going to be filled with kind of tips and subject matter to help you uh, manage better your emotional and mental well-being and I'm going to be sharing a couple of tips each week and we're going to keep it light. There's going to be all sorts going on, no doubt, with these two as well. So um, just be, just expect the unexpected. We're just going to roll with it. <laughs> we're just going to have some fun. We're going to keep it light. It's not going to be head heavy because there's enough in life at the moment that's heavy. And we just want, we all wanted to um, just contribute something that is kind of hopefully going to entertain you somewhere along the way and help you as well so thank you all for being here thank you for watching and uh, I'm going to start kick off this series with talking about mind monkeys now people can kind of call them those like those kind of thoughts that maybe are stronger than we want them to their thoughts that maybe like they're not actually the reality but it's what we think are happening 
And when I've been teaching in the past, I talk about the mind monkeys, divorce mind monkeys, normal mind monkeys. And these are these, if you think of it, it's like a monkey where they're kind of all quiet and you're all calm and everything. And then they all suddenly <laughs> kick off. <laughs> these kind of, of course. Those kind of monkeys, exactly. So, <laughs> and do your mind monkeys have names? Um, ah, they don't, but we could, we're open to suggestions to name. Yeah, yeah. great idea. You've got to, got so to nice. stick it in the comments. Um, these can be the Single Parents United official mascots. Yeah. Fantastic. So if you're looking at uh, naming uh, one of our mascots, we would love you. And as um, whoever gets uh, names get picked, we'll send you um, a baseball cap as well. So um, cool. I think that would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah? definitely. Yeah. So, or a mask if you wanted a mask or a baseball cap. So choose yeah. your choose your single parents united. Um, oh, oh look. <laughs> yeah, even very well. <laughs> So anyway, the mind monkeys at the moment are being really, really lovely. And uh, so often when we're worrying about the future or we're ruminating about the past and there's a lot of worries at the moment about um, what is actually going to happen in the, in the future. You know, nothing's particularly certain at the moment. We live in a really unusual world. None of us have ever really done anything like this before. You know, there's different stuff coming on through the news all the time. So actually... This is like fertile ground for the mind monkeys to really get going, get mischievous, get noisy. And, you know, when you hear things like, you know, I can't think, like my mind's so busy or I can't think. And guys, if you've got any other thoughts and examples of this as well, please, you know, do jump in. But, you know, if you're kind of there and you're like, oh, my God, my head's just literally full and I can't, you know, that is the mind monkeys. That is the mind monkeys running your show. And so in a lot of these sessions, I'm going to be sharing tips with you to help you come back and notice when the mind monkeys are running your show. Yeah. And, and it's about you reclaiming your thoughts, reclaiming your mind and uh, just getting them all to cozy up like Steve's monkey there. Where's yours gone, James, by the way? Hello. <laughs> there as well love i love that so so this is what it's all about okay so the mind monkeys for example um you are uh thinking say somebody's late for you uh they're a friend that might always be late and they're a little bit late uh, and you're kind of you know just start noticing how you know my monkeys start kicking in you get maybe get a little bit irritated um you finish your coffee the mind monkeys suddenly have a coffee and they all get really really hyper as well and uh <laughs> just going with this one and uh, and before long you're sitting there and you're waiting for this friend and just notice how you feel in your body are your shoulders tense are you feeling a little bit like cross you know is it you know is your stomach feeling a little bit tense and are you all, are you in a kind of like, are you now in a place where you're worried or you're just cross about it? So this is when the mind monkeys, uh, you know, and you might be saying things to yourself like, oh, the mind monkeys, you know, or, or she's always late and or he's always late. Or it might be about your ex. It might be about a friend. It might be about a family member. And when we notice that we start, overthinking it that is when the mind monkeys are hopping in and they're just making their presence known so a lot of this work is going to be work or fun or whatever it is is all about noticing when those mind monkeys are running the show and just coming back and how you come back is by noticing how your body feels it's about this elusive present moment yeah and i say it's elusive because so many of us live in the future and so many of us are worrying about the past or thinking about all the stuff we could have done, you know, and talking to ourselves unkindly as well, which brings me on to kindness as well. So we're going to be working a lot about self-kindness. Um, I want to say self-love, but as I've said before, self-love can be quite difficult for people. Um, so we're just going to go gently on that as well. So how do you mind what you do? touch about like, having so much going on in your head that you don't really know what to do. And I, I get like that a lot of the time. It's like, you know, you've got a massive list. I'm a big one for making lists. Me, I love a list in my phone. 
physical list, mm. alarms. I, I love I love things like that to remind me of everything. But you've got a long list of stuff to do. It's almost like there's too much to do. You don't know where to start, so you end up doing nothing. Yeah. You don't end up doing yeah. anything. So then that kind of pressure and stress builds up as like the days go on or whatever because you just don't know where to start on this list of jobs mm. or whatever. And then you feel doing. guilty and then you don't feel good enough because you, you think, oh my God, I can't get anything done. Yeah. And you know what, James, thank you for showing up because everybody feels like that. We've all been there. I know I've been there and I actually knew, so I'm just going to share a story about a friend who had... They literally came down one day and they went, oh my God, I've got so much to do. I don't know where to start. And they'd actually spent about two hours making a file of all the lists of all the stuff they needed to do in their different parts of their life. And they had got so worked up because suddenly there was this massive mountain of stuff to do. They still hadn't done it and they didn't know where to start. And I literally just took this file and I ripped it up and I put it in the bin and I just went, just going to forget about it now. And immediately their shoulders just went, Okay, now we're just going to start with one thing. And one of the things I would suggest you do each week on after this Tuesday is write down one job you can do this week, whether it's a job where it's something um, that is going to help you ultimately. And we're going to be talking a lot about mastery activities. So I'm going to work on this throughout the weeks as well. And a mastery activity is something you do that's going to make you feel better and you know you've got to do it and it might be sorting out your inbox and deleting a few emails have you got have you got have you got a takeaway arrived i love that they're knocking at the door you see i'm gone fantastic <laughs> Go. <laughs> So this is what we're about on here, aren't we? We're authentic, yeah. real life, and it's just, you know, well, us doing well, whatever we've got to do. Well, you were on before, Tosh. Um, is there some advice around which to do on the list first? Do you do the hard tasks first or do you do the easier tasks first? I think what you've got to do if you're in overwhelm is to maybe just look down the list and what yeah. three... So one that is going to be relatively easy for you yeah. and maybe start working towards one that's difficult and i know like if you've got paperwork to do and things like that yeah. um is is but it's about changing your thoughts around it it's like changing not going oh my god i gotta do all this paperwork it's like if you've got to do paperwork create somewhere like like make a space on your table on your kitchen table, whatever, make yourself a nice cup of tea. Yeah. If you have a little bit of music on the background that's going to make it nice, put some flowers on the table, make your space nice that you've got to do this stuff that you don't really want to do. Get you. Oh my God, you got Yorkshire puddings and everything. <laughs> oh, my man, monkey's hungry. Don't I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming for your food, Jim. My man, monkey. Oh. It your food, mate. Oh my god, look at you. This is this is like Tuesday night takeaway as well. Oh my god. Your mum loves you so much. This is what that's from your ex. Yeah. Well, I've just remembered I brought a Tupperware in my mum wants, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when he has a date, when he has a date, Tosh, this is what happens. They bring the food up before his date arrives. That's so funny. I love that. that I nice. love that. In the way she wants that supper work, I've left it outside, but I brought it in with the food. Oh, sorry. Carry on. That's all right. <laughs> okay, so we're just Man. talking about like you what? My mind monkey's happy because we've got got tea. So fabulous. Mine's Every, hungry, man. Yours are hungry. I don't need to talk yeah, about that food. Stress. Trying to get on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so right what we're going to do so what we were doing is we were talking about um like one like getting one job done a week yeah and so often when we're in overwhelm we've got all these lists is to actually just maybe just write down three things you can do this week and notice 
the mind monkeys going, oh, no, no, leave it till tomorrow. Or And I don't know if it's like you, but I used to, I know with homework and coursework and stuff like that, I'd be, I always used to say I'd be skidding in the back door, like last minute, and I'd do it. And it's as well about like that Ben Elton sketch, and he was talking about when he had to do his, like, his, college work or something and he clean the house the shared house he cook all the meals for the rest of the week he'd iron his pants and then he'd sit down at like one o'clock in the morning to do whatever he, you know write the essay or whatever so just notice the mind monkeys telling you oh don't worry just make a cup of tea don't do it today do it tomorrow yeah because what that's actually going to do is increase your stress going oh my god i've only got five days to do it but i'll do it and that whole procrastination that happens so Stu, do you, uh, Stu, sorry, Stu, do you do this as well? You kind of definitely, yeah. I procrastinate quite... housework um, until I can't get through the whole where James thinks it's a health and safety <laughs> issue. It is, yeah. it is. but it's a funny one, isn't it? Boxes. It's like an obstacle, and it's very hallway. But but it's very difficult as well because actually, when you're a single parent you got a lot to manage as well. And if you're working, you've got kids, you've got so many plates to balance. So sometimes we just feel like we haven't got time to do anything. And then you can, I know I wake up if I've got stress on the, I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning, I've got a rock in my stomach and I wake up and my mind, you've got that split second where it's all okay. And then it all comes in and you go, oh my God, I can, I've got all this stuff to do. So I was really eight. sort of, Spinning plates, uh, Tosh. One thing that mm. I'm still really bad at it now is washing up really bad. Just leave it and leave it and leave it. But the worst mm. thing I used to have when I moved into where I live now, there was two sets of crockery that the previous tenant left, a black set and a white set. So what I'd do, I'd work my way to the <laughs> set, not wash them up, and then move on to the white set. I could go a whole week without washing up. So I had to, I had to throw the white set away. <laughs> I, I, I went one better than that james i tried a full week using paper plates oh my god because <laughs> it couldn't be bothered washing up that's a good idea uh, kid, the, kid, the kids loved it it was great that yeah. was fantastic <laughs> Brilliant. But the thing is with spinning plates, when you're spinning lots of plates, and if anybody's ever tried it or seen it happen, it's exhausting trying to keep them all in the air. Mm. Yeah. And when we're doing that, we then get into this place of overwhelm and we don't think we can do anything well. And that's when thoughts of like, oh, I'm not a good parent because I can't do all this for my children. Yeah. And there's all that other stuff coming in again. And again, that's my monkeys as well, because that's actually not the reality. You're just managing really um, challenging times and busy lives. Uh, and try and keep it all together but what you can do is start making and changing those neural pathways by making new ones and that is about going actually I'm just gonna for one week I'm just gonna wash up my my plate my plates or whatever I'm gonna challenge you tonight James actually yeah. uh, I'm gonna speak to you next Tuesday about it yeah <laughs> and you with your hallway so you're not getting away with it Steve either <laughs> So I want you to keep your hallway. And, and and actually, it's about just going, actually, for one week only, I am going to wash my plate every <laughs> after every single... And, and I don't know what's going on in your head now, but I'm probably kind of like hearing that monkey going, oh, yeah. my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm all right. I've got an idea. Mo, can you do the hallway as well? <laughs> <laughs> so just, just notice that whole narrative going on at the moment about whether you can do this or not. Because every time you override that thought, oh, I'll leave it and I'll do two lots of plates next time, yeah. right? Every time you override it and go, actually, I'm gonna do it this time. Yeah. You're creating a new neural pathway. Okay. 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 <laughs> what, is, what is a neural pathway? It's, it's, <laughs> It's a good pathway. You think of like, um, yeah, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
You need to use simplified uh, language with us too. <laughs> okay, so it's like you're just training your you're just training your mind to think in a different way. Why that's, didn't you just say that? <laughs> that? It's better for you. Okay, well you've got to call me. That's why you're on here because you can call me out on this stuff. Uh, neural and I'm okay pathway. With that. A new a new neural pathway. So if you, for example, like. Um, you're in a park in the summer and it's been lovely hot summer and all these like well-worn pathways in the park across the grass right. and do you kind of keep following those or do you just start making a new one and how does it feel when you make a new one do you get a bit like oh I ought not to be on this grass here there are enough paths already that I can go along Right, I'd follow the same path so I didn't get lost. Is that the wrong thing to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, well, this is this is all this stuff I'm going to be sharing over the weeks as well. I'm going to tell you how actually it's good to get lost. It's really good to get lost in life, and how when you do get lost, how actually you can turn it to a positive from a negative. So you're going to keep your pathway, uh, your pathway, your hallway thing, and you're going to wash up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink more water this week. Yeah, I've started doing okay. that. That's what I'm going to do. I've started doing that today. Yeah. I've got, and how, okay, so, yeah, go on. I've got lots of dairy liquid to go to as well because my auntie, bless her, <laughs> rang me up and said, I'm at, my, I'm at the shop, do I anything? I said, yeah, I'll have some washed up <laughs> liquid. I've just run out, literally just run out when I was washing all them. Aww. And she brought two um, massive fairy liquid um, bottles. So I was like, I never get fairy Do you know what? She knew that you were going to commit to washing up after every meal this week. You do, you need did. extra. My neural pathways needed some attention. Exactly. Who knew? <laughs> there you go. Well, what's good about it, though, is Jane will follow through for a week and then he'll be right back to where he was again. It's true, true that. And it's, it works with everything, doesn't it? For, like, we mentioned yeah. exercise. Exercise, like, I'm really, really bad at saying... I need. I know I need to exercise. I want to lose some weight. I want to get mm. fit. Stepping front, front, foot out of that door to go and exercise, like you were saying about the mind monkeys, I'll find an excuse. I'm too tired. Um, it's too early in the morning. It's too late at night. I don't want to get all hot and sweaty and then have to have another shower and blah, 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 blah. And I, and I will be like that for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I'll have a week where I'm on it. I'll go out running in the morning before I go to work. I'll do it for maybe a week and then I'll stop. <laughs> I'll just give up again. And, but that's the thing. It's like practice. It's like, you know, and children learn to walk or ride a bike. You've just got to keep on doing it. And, you know, all that, you know, you're, it's all in there, but we just have to clear away that sort of narrative, the mind monkey talk about, you know, why you shouldn't do it. Because we know, I think what's really important is when you do do this week, it's just notice being aware throughout the week, how you feel each day after you've done it and go, actually, I've done another day. And really, yeah. instead of going, oh, God, I had to, I did, I've got three more days, just go, actually, do you know what? I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. I did it for three days. Well, what, I think, what do you do if you've got James's memory? Because he can't remember what he did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to tell people about James's memory? We do. Just to let people know. Yeah, I, I compare myself to um, Dory. <laughs> Dory. Yeah. And, like, I literally... I was talking about alarms in my phone. I have so many reminder alarms in my phone to wake up in the morning, obviously, drop the kids off where I need to drop them off, whether they need to be, <laughs> whether they need to be it. And then at the end of the day, so at work in a school, at the end of the day at half past three, the pe people who work would take the mick at me because my alarm goes off every day to remind me to collect my kids from somewhere or to take them swimming or anything like that. Because I know, and it's happened before, that I would forget to pick them up. And it happened the other week. I forgot to pick them up from my mum and dad. Okay. It happens all the time. <laughs> hey, so hey, this... Parents' evening was the best. Where were you, mate? <laughs> I forgot about parents' evening, yeah. I did forget parents' evening. I'm terrible. Yeah. I'm a terrible person. I don't even know why I forgot. I just, I came home. Sat why is a single parent? <laughs> yeah. I forget to go on the name. I forget the names of the people I'm dating. <laughs> <laughs> there's no hope for me absolutely no hope there is hope there is hope right so what the, one of the things we talk about is um being on automatic pilot and I, i'm just going to ask everybody 
have you ever been in a car and you've got from A to B and you get to B and you go, oh my God, how did I get there? Yeah. 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 That is like being on automatic pilot. So you're just in that zone. So actually when you practice taking back control, even if it's just overriding the monkeys and coming back and doing your you're taking back control and you're not in that kind of complete zone of um yeah automatic pilot where you're just kind of functioning and going through life and one of the things that happens when people are going through really tough times and they're going through life is they just feel like it's the same old same old groundhog day another week you know and we miss those glimpses of amazingness that happens in like in life even those little chinks of life like you know you you've got like two food parcels tonight you know second your mum's here yet yeah. they're running late you... they're running late <laughs> my monkey's getting just about you know <laughs> here at quarter past six till it's nearly half past <laughs> oh but but this is kind of what it's about you know it's just kind of and I, you know we're gonna kind of move a lot on to um things like gratitude as well and ways that you can start to notice the good stuff in life because what i hear from people is they're saying oh it's all very well toshi saying um yeah notice this and notice that but if we don't know how to do it how can we how can we get to that space yeah. so it's just doing it really you know it's just one step at a time because when we when, when we're given loads of stuff it you know in busy lives so you just feel like oh god i just don't have the mental headspace to even start yeah. learning something new and so then we find ourselves in that eternal whirlpool of not actually moving forward so one week at a time one step day, day washing up hallway Sorry. more water yeah yeah exercise. and it is and it i've got an exercise yeah. like my friend has lent me an exercise bike um brought it today because I can't go out at the moment because I'm isolating. So um, I need to start on the exercise bike and not just use it to hang my clothes on. Oh, one minute. Just uh, saying something to me here, won't I? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He just said that's a lot of rubbish. You'll never use that exercise <laughs> bike, man. <laughs> God, with a challenge like that, I tell you what, I'd go for it. Maybe you didn't hear him right, Steve. Was it your good ear that he was looking into then? <laughs> it was, actually. <laughs> yeah, for, for the record, everybody, I'm deaf in one ear. <laughs> James picks me up on it quite a lot. So, yeah, so we've got we've got deafness, we've got forgetfulness, <laughs> and um, I don't know, you're going to have to... You... We're, we're, we're 40 year olds in the bodies of... 17, 80 year olds, I think, can't live with all these problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Falling to bits already. So if we've got any, yeah, and I'm, I'm like another 10 years older than you guys, so. Yeah. yeah so. Um, better shape. Did you have a, well. James, did you, not, <laughs> if, did you not have a date tonight? I'm sure you said to me you had a date. <laughs> I'm isolating, mate. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have um, you told it? <laughs> <laughs> no. she'll be waiting for you in pub the good, thing is, the good thing is she'll only wait till 10 o'clock because the pub's shut at <laughs> that's a good one mate <laughs> oh dear so yeah we've got well, a lot more, of things to do this week can't we Steve we've got some a target anyway got, it's good to have a target isn't it good to the have whole yeah I think it's really important and not to set yourself to too many targets or thinking or get carried away going, oh, God, and I've got to do this and I've got to do that. Just making sure you get one thing done. And it, yeah, um, and they call it mastery. So it's something that helps you feel better and it's a job you need to do as well. So notice how you feel when you've done it. Like every day, just go, yeah, actually, it's another day of washing up. Well, yeah, it's another, you know, fr clutter free hallway. So, yeah. And yeah, I drank a, a load of water. A load of water. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. So, um, yeah, it's good. It's really good ideas. And it's, um, I, I did put into practice the exercise thing a couple of weeks ago. and. I got up one morning and I just went for a walk. Actually, it was Steve. He rang me up. We spoke about it the night before. I woke up in the morning. I wasn't going to go for a walk. I thought, I'm not just not going to bother. Steve rang me up. I think it's Steve. And said, Yeah, I remember. Are you going out for that walk? And it was his phone call that made me go out 
And it was just a 20 minute walk. And that day, I was buzzing all day. I couldn't believe how much better I felt just from going for a 20 minute walk. So it does work. The things that you're saying, they really do work. And, you know, we can yeah, they do. proof of that. It's, it really and I think it's about noticing how good you felt about it and banking that. Yeah, yeah. Like bank it in your field. <laughs> I only went back. Yeah. But for that day, I felt amazing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm really glad that, Tosh, you are, um, you know, involved because since you've started working with James, you've made my life so much more easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So I, th- I think it's I, think I, it's I have to take calms. When I'm working with James every day, you know. <laughs> you need to work with Steve. Well, you, you, like you two make me laugh. So um, that's helped me lots as well. So that's been really lovely. It's really good to get um, your your insight and learn learn from you, Tosh, because, you know, you, with your wealth of experience and knowledge in, in this area, and we're definitely going to put these little things into practice. And we hope that everybody who's who's been watching uh, yeah. as well, we do so that thank you very much thank you very very much yes, really, really appreciate it i'm gonna go and eat some of this uh takeaway food now that have been delivered and um, steve's gonna probably get his mum to cook him a meal um yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <she's> <laughs> i am actually <laughs> um yeah just remember guys we, we want to name um we want names for the monkeys please send them um on instagram at single.parents.united if you want to uh, contact us on there, we are also on Facebook, Single Parents United, and we are obviously here on YouTube, the Single Parents United YouTube channel. Please like and, and subscribe to the channel if, if you would yeah. like. Leave any comments for us. Um, and the next instalment is going to be on Sunday, Steve, isn't it? What we're talking about on Sunday. Have you forgot already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what we're doing on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. That's that's why you're asking me. We you are don't. talking about dating on Sunday. Dating. Oh, well done, lad. I wrote it down. Well done. We, yeah, proud no, of you. Thanks. You see, Tosh is working already. Just the, just the presence on is just working. So yeah, it means yeah. Well done, Tosh. we're talking about um, all things to do with dating. Some funny stories. Our experience of using dating apps. So again, you know, if yeah. you, you want to um, want us to discuss about that, please put it in the comments. Um, it could be mm. an interesting uh, discussion that season. It's going to be a fun one, that, isn't it, James? Tosh, Tosh will be with us as well, giving her insights into her um, dating experience as well. Tosh, Tosh, is, Tosh is going to be in so much shock when she hears <laughs> our dating stories. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> my second uh, food delivery has just arrived. Okay. Just seen a shadow of my, my dad walking up the steps and uh, dropping the food off. So oh. I think it's. Uh, have a lovely week. Yeah. Have a have a have a great week, and uh, I'm gonna what we're gonna do tomorrow? Wash up. And next. I'm gonna do the hallway. You're gonna do the hallway. Mum, how are you getting on? I'm gonna do some water. <laughs> Like More water. Thanks for watching. Take care. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.